I'm Betsy Lamb with the New York State Integrated Pest Management, and I'm here today with John Sanderson from the Entomology Department of Cornell University. And so today we're going to talk about um, some things that you can find on sticky cards. We were looking at sticky cards in the crop, and I noticed that there were some small black fly-like objects, and John tells me that one of the most types of insects is the fungus gnat. So what is a fungus gnat, and why is it important that you not have them in your greenhouse? Well, fungus gnats are, are actual flies. They're, they're, they have two wings, which all flies have. Um, and, uh, but they're little gnats. They're little skinny, uh, gnat-like black um, insects. And um, uh, they are primarily a problem uh, uh, when you go to sell your crop because consumers simply just don't want to see little black flies flying around their, their, their the plant material they buy from you, so they're a nuisance. They're and they're, they, if there's a lot of them and they're really noticeable, consumers don't like that. That's probably the biggest reason fungus gnats can be a, a, a problem when you sell your crop. But they also, the larval stage that lives in the soil, can actually feed on the plant roots. Um, uh, they can uh, girdle the roots or chew them up. Um, and uh, their problems because of direct damage that they can do to, to roots. Um, and then the other thing that adults can do, uh, some, some root rot diseases, some uh, Fusarium flaviopsis and, and verticillium can be transmitted by the adults, by adult fungus gnats. They can fly from pot to pot and spread disease in the greenhouse if you've got a source of, of that, that kind of plant disease. Um, uh, and so the, so the three ways that fungus gnats are problems, really, the larvae can feed on the roots, the adults can transmit uh, certain root rot diseases, and the adults simply are something that consumers don't want to see. Um, uh, those are the, the main reasons fungus gnats are problems.